compassion, personalized care, and a mission to serve women and families in Kentucky. We are Frontier Nursing University. Through distance education and clinicals in your own community, become a nurse midwife and share your passion for women and family care. Visit Frontier.edu. Wood turning has been around for hundreds of years. Joel and I recently went to London, Kentucky. We met with Richard Adams. He's a true artist. He took this craft and has turned it into a wonderful art form. Here, take a look. Well, I've been uh, doing woodworking all my life and uh, in some form or another. My dad always had saws and worked around the house and did different things and cabinet work. And uh, whether it was uh, busting up firewood or anything like that, I would just, you know, the smell of the wood and just the texture and I love wood. I think wood is alive. It just has um, a certain uh, liveliness to it, for lack of a better word. When the time came to start his business, Richard looked to the past for inspiration. The name Wooden Tricks, it, it's really ironic how it started because when I, when I needed to name my business something, you know, some artists are their name. Well, Richard Adams is pretty pretty common name, so I thought, I've got to name it something. And then it dawned on me that my dad used to call little bandsaw boxes that I made and different things. He'd come down in the garage and he'd say, do you have any wooden tricks made? And it just stuck. And I thought, wooden tricks? So I thought, that, that's really... And so it was back in my mind. And so he named the business and didn't really know that he named it wooden tricks. And uh, of course, it's wood that I work with, tricks. One definition of tricks is an artful way of getting a result. So I thought, that's it. That'll cover it all, wooden tricks. Sounds kind of simple, but that, that's it. Richard takes blocks of wood and turns them into works of art. Most of my work are bowls. I love turn bowls. I do some hollow forms, pepper mills. It's just all things wood turned on the lathe, basically. But what I do is I start with, um, with a tree, a log. Once I shape it, round it up to get it you know, rough shaped, I can place it between centers on the lathe and uh, spin it and then of course just carve it with with various tools. Okay well let's let's take a look at this one for example. The way that it came out of the tree, the way the, the grain runs, here's the would be the pith, the very center of the tree. The growth rings run around here so it would come out of the tree like this. So in theory you get another bowl on the other side of the tree. and. Uh, once you, you know, chainsaw it up and block it up and make sure there aren't any cracks or anything in the wood because you don't want those in your finished piece. And also, I love to make boxes, little boxes with suction fit lids. In this case, this is dogwood. This is kind of a uh, under, underfitting lid. Most of them that I make are overfitting. They just seem to do a lot better. But I've always loved this little piece. I do big bowls. Uh, this is not too big. I do even much larger than this. In this case, this is a um, this is a spalted American elm, and it is just beautiful with all the different uh, textures that that the spalting creates with the dark lines in it, and it just has no rhyme or reason. It's just really beautiful. There's another thing I'm experimenting with is metal inlay. Uh, there's various metal uh, metals that you can put into the wood to incorporate it into the piece to make uh, well you can make little motifs or any kind of design that you want on the wood. In this case I just filled some voids, uh, some knots and did a little extra carving just to kind of make it interesting. So, Okay there's another thing that's interesting that you can do on the lathe and that is uh, threads and they're, they're hand chased threads. This is, this is a hollow form that I made and uh, it's made out of four different woods, um, ambrosia maple burl, cocobola rosewood, and dogwood, and uh, black walnut. And this piece, the reason for the different woods is that there's only so many woods that you can hand chase threads. There's not very many because it becomes real chippy. So dogwood uh, is, is something that is very uh, dense, tightly grained. Also, uh, ebony would be a good one, but in this case, uh, rosewood. And the nice thing is just you hand chase the threads while it's spinning on the lathe. You have to be really careful. Uh, I hear there's a way that you master it. You get a ton of dogwood and lock yourself in, in the shed for a year, and then you come out all screwed up. So. One of Richard's favorite projects may also be one of the most difficult, hand-carved pins. 
I love I love to make pins because it's almost like playing chess with your mind. There are for each pin style, there are so many different drill bits and different uh, combinations of parts and pieces. And to keep them all separated and get them together just right, you know, once you turn the wood, it, it's um, it's quite a challenge. So I I enjoy I enjoy making pins. Richard would like to start working with other materials in addition to wood as he moves forward. There's there's a lot of uh, future ideas that I have as far as my work. What I really love to do, I love glass. And uh, I have some stained glass, um, I guess, set up for stained glass. And I always wanted to put that into areas of a bowl, for example, that maybe had a knot. And I'm really working on trying to put that in there. But I love wood, I love glass, I love metal. And I love metal working. So those three, I would love to combine them some way uh, perhaps eventually way down the road into sculptural forms or something. Um, I still want to try to leave it, make it somewhat useful <laughs> as far as, as that's concerned, but uh, just something really beautiful. You know, that, that's where I'm going with it. To find out more about Richard Adams and his work, check out his website at woodentricks.com. You can also reach him on Facebook. Just search Wooden Tricks. Thanks, Joel. As you can see, I've got one of Richard's products right here, and it is a work of art.